Hello, my name is Debbie Reynolds. They call me the Data Diva. Today I want to talk about data privacy, FTC, and AI-related products and services. So the FDIC um, approved a resolution for investigating AI-related AI products and services. So what this resolution does is allow the FTC to issue civil investigative demands, uh, which is called a CID, for companies that use AI for 10 years. Uh, so basically that includes systems that make decisions and generate and generative AI for creating synthetic content. Uh, so this type of uses or misuse of AI could lead to charges around fraud. It may involve privacy issues, it may involve unfair practices, uh, it may potentially uh, violate the FTC Act, uh, and this is a huge deal. So the FTC obviously has always been able to issue these type of uh, civil investigative demands. Uh, adding AI to the mix is huge uh, because they had, had not Although they could investigate AI, there's a specific point they're trying to make in terms of making sure that organizations that use AI tools and products, they're, they're doing it in a way that does not harm or hurt or um, uh, somehow damage consumers. So whether that be trust, uh, consumer trust, whether that be uh, misuse of their data, whether that be definitely anything that is about decision-making. So companies that are using AI to make decisions without a human in a loop, companies that are unable to really document a process, uh, companies that don't have a program in place, companies that they have not done proper training, and there is some type of investigator about a harm that could possibly happen. Uh, these are all things that companies that are using AI really need to be looking at. Uh, these. CIDs are very expensive to fight and to respond to. Um, so I think it's incumbent upon organizations that they're using AI, especially if there's a situation where, uh, again, decisions are being made about humans, people can be um, harmed, somehow people are being deceived in some way. Uh, the FTC definitely will uh, send you a naughty letter about this. So I think that this will be game changing in terms of enforcement in the U.S. around not only AI, but other types of consumer harm that could also implicate privacy. So I'm interested to see what the FTC does next in terms of their enforcement. Uh, there hasn't been enough uh, news about uh, this particular new step, but I think it's game changing, frankly, for the FTC and for people who are using AI. Uh, I don't think that companies should be afraid to use AI. You just have to have the proper guardrails in place, the proper program, making sure that employees and people who use it understand uh, how to use these tools, and making sure that consumers are fully aware of the impact and making sure that those negative impacts are uh, transparent to everyone and have a human in the loop. So uh, I'm, it remains to be seen what's going to happen with this. Obviously, I think we're going to see more uh, more of these break out into the news. So instead of it being like an a unofficial or private thing between the company and the FTC, I think some of these will definitely break out into full-fledged suits that are that become public uh, because of the way that certain companies will be using AI in the future. That's it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.